This is Matt Long with the Musician Network. We're here at the 2011 NAMM Show in Anaheim, California. I'm here with Dick with Martin Guitars. He has brought us the one millionth and a half guitar from Martin. That's right. Tell me a little bit about this here. Well, you know, as we approach a milestone like this, um, we like to do something special. Yeah. So about a year and a half, we were uh, looking ahead and, and started work with two incredible uh, artisans uh, Harvey Le Leach, mm -hmm. uh, one yep. of the master inlay artists, uh, one of the best inlay artists yep. in the world, and Bob Hergert, who is uh, arguably the best scrimshaw engraving artist alive. Yep. Um, and uh, the pair of them, they always had wanted to do a Da Vinci th theme, yep. and we, uh, we sent drawings back and forth and got, got it underway. Um, you know, people look at this and think, well, it's a piece of paper or something. It, yeah. This is hundreds and hundreds of pieces of in individually selected materials, uh, unbelievable level of uh, inlay. The Last Supper, executed in uh, many materials. The Mona Lisa, uh, it's amazing to see this uh, take shape, uh, the process of selecting each piece yeah. and, and laying it and engraving all the parts. The face, uh, uh, I mean, it's so accurate to the painting. Yeah. Um, so Harvey did the, the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, and the uh, uh, illustrations, which are taken from Da Vinci's journals. Here's Leonardo himself here. I mean, this is, uh, you know, probably 25 hours of work just yeah. for one uh, inlay. This is done in uh, mammoth, woolly mammoth mm -hmm. ivory to match the coloration of, the, of Da Vinci's paper. Yeah. Uh, all of his inventions and illustrations. His, uh, his most famous illustration is the Vitruvian Man, and uh, which shows the proportions of the human body, and, yep. and that's uh, kind of almost like an x brace which we invented, <laughs> but uh, done in Brazilian rosewood uh, with a beautiful Adirondack spruce top, a great sounding guitar. People will say it's over the top. It is over the top. Yep. Uh, but it's over to, over the top for a reason. Uh, we like to celebrate our, our milestones. We're not trying to make money here. This, this is not for sale. Yeah. It, it'll go into the Mart Museum after the NAM show, and, and uh, we open our cases and let people play them from time to time. But uh, it, it basically just uh, uh, celebrates, commemorates uh, our pride and our uh, achievement over 178 yeah. years. Now, uh, when we get into this, the, the inlays here, uh, what type of material did you put into that? Well, this is, this is turquoise. Mm -hmm. uh, the red material is coral. Uh, lots of different uh, seashell materials. The, the, the skin is uh, fossilized ivory okay. to match the yep. skin coloration. Um, this is corian, different colors of corian to get kind of the marble effect. Um, there's mother of pearl, there's ebony. There's different uh, types of uh, woods of mm -hmm. different colors to give the, the browns and tans. Uh, lapis for the blues, the darker blues. Um, uh, that's, the ba that's the basics. Yep. You know, uh, I watched this all come together. There, there's dozens of materials in the Mona Lisa here. Yeah. Inter one interesting thing is that the, Mo the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper are the first and second most popular, mm -hmm. most copied, uh, most famous paintings in the world. And the Vitruvian Man comes in number five. Yeah. <laughs> how, many, so, uh, how many man hours do you think is total in this? Oh, thousands. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, the tuna machine buttons were handmade by um, one of the best uh, metal workers in the world. Each button handmade about 25 hours of, of engraving and chasing of, uh, of the metals mm -hmm. to create probably the most beautiful tuning buttons ever made. So, you know, it's just a box of wood with wire on it, <laughs> but it, it really does have, it yeah. has a, a beautiful, beautiful, rich Martin sound. Yeah. You said it's Brazilian rosewood on the back, right? Brazilian back rosewood on, on the back and sides, which is uh, site certified, legal. Yeah. We yeah. only use legal yeah. woods. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. And we're uh, very responsible about that, but we have a we have a small uh, stash which we've saved for yeah. decades yeah. of uh, of this wood, and the Adirondack spruce is also quite rare. Um, just gives a complexity of sound that you can't yeah. you can't uh, match. I know it's taken many years to uh, get it up to this point. What's kind of the history of Martin Guitars? 
Well, we're in our sixth generation. Mm -hmm. C.F. Martin the fourth. Chris yeah. Martin, he's very informal. Yeah. Uh, Chris Martin is uh, our CEO. Uh, it's a family business. It's mm -hmm. never been bought and sold. It's been uh, passed down through all the generations. And the thing about the Martin family is that they take, they've always taken the business very personally and very seriously. I think, uh, you know, if it's just a bunch of business people yep. or lawyers running companies, there's no vested interest. Yep. I think each of the Martin family members uh, felt that they didn't want to mess it up on their watch. Yep. And, uh, and that's been, been the case throughout the generations. Martin started in Mark Neukirch in Germany. Mm -hmm. um, he studied, uh, became a, a master of guitar making and also of managing a shop. Moved to New York City near the mouth of the Holland Tunnel. Yep. Set up shop there for six years with tremendous success, building the finest guitars in the world. The guitar was just coming into popularity at the time. Uh, they didn't like New York City, uh, too busy and yep. crazy for them. They, they moved to the little town of Nazareth, PA, yep. where we still are. And Nazareth was a German-speaking community with tremendous uh, uh, attention to craftsmanship and precision. And there they flourished through the Spanish-American War, the Civil War, World War I, the Great Depression, World War II, mm -hmm. the uh, hippie movement, yep. uh, surviving the ups and downs of the economy and, and uh, uh, always fixated on producing the, the, the best sounding, the best crafted acoustic yep. guitars anywhere. Any thoughts of what's coming next? I mean, you got the millionth and a half. What's the next milestone? Well, you know, this is an expensive guitar, yeah. and we don't want people to think that Martin only makes expensive yeah. instruments. We make an array uh, starting at around $200 yeah. and going as high as you would, would want to go with everything in between. Uh, the trend that we've seen in the last two decades has been gradually more and more towards plugging in an acoustic yeah. electric play. Yeah. And because of that, we've uh, uh, partnered with Fishman and, and Roland and MySci and, and a number of different uh, companies, Seymour Duncan, mm -hmm. uh, to pr uh, produce state-of-the-art um, electronic systems in our guitars that make, that make them stage-ready and contemporary. Yeah. And, and that's really important, and it now occupies almost half of our production. Uh, we're not throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Yeah. Our guitars are known for tone and, um, and light construction and scallop bracing and all yeah. the, those buzzwords. But uh, it's really important that when people go to, go to buy a, a guitar that, that we're represented in all the different yeah. categories, especially these days, acoustic electric. Well, before we move on to anything else, uh, you mind playing a little bit more for us, just kind of well, so, we can, so we can hear? I'm not Eric Clapton. It's all right. Neither I was I. playing a, sw a simple twist of phrase. It's beautiful, it's not overdone, it's uh, very tasteful, I think, so. Harvey Leach did, uh, did a great job. Yep. He's done a number of projects with us, and uh, I'm really impressed with Bob Hergert as well. Uh, TKL Case Company made mm -hmm. a, special, a special commemorative case for the, the yeah. guitar, and one of the finest leather workers in the world, Chuck Smith, mm -hmm. uh, worked with Greg Atkins of Strum and Comfort to uh, uh, produce a beautiful hand-tooled leather strap for the guitar. Uh, so a lot of collaborating, and uh, we're very proud of it. 